Uh, I was sitting here with my sister this morning, and I felt compelled to turn on this camera. My sister is the one and only high dear motherfucking broadband. And she is yeah, extremely, uh, not only inquisitive, but interested, curious on a lot of the, you know, crap going on with this world. And one of the things, our topics we got on this morning was the Kanye West situation and it's supposedly being anti-Semitic uh, to uh, consider that Jews control the world. So I think it's humorous how Kanye decided to say, you know, I won't say, so I won't be called anti-Semitic. I won't say Jews run the world. I'll just start n naming the ownership groups or owners that control some of the entities that, you know, have heavy influence over the world. So one of the things we got on that happened to be like really scary is the fact that the same ownership groups that own these prison systems that they are building throughout the, uh, you know, the United States at a rapid pace, you know, United States uh, is, the, is far, by far the leader in incarcerated individuals around the world. Um, these groups happen to be Jewish led. Now, the same groups that own and control these prisons happen to own and be in partnership with the same Jewish groups that own and control uh, the music industry, the entertainment, the movie industry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, distribution groups that have the power to say yes or no to what's going out on the airwaves. Okay, let's take it a step further. These uh, media groups, uh, CNN, the Washington Post, uh, 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 CNNBC, like wherever you watch your news is controlled by gruish and uh, ownership. So they control the narrative of the things you see on the news daily. So let's get this, let, let's, let's go in full circle. Let's make it a circle. So the music industry and the movie industry, far as a minority group is concerned, you know, it, they only sign acts or individuals, artists that are currently popping. Now, there's a lot of artists out there, man, that are doing good with numbers, that are uh, spreading a positive message, you know? But they not what you hear constantly being blared on the radio all the day long, all the time, all the time. What you do hear is individuals that promote demonic energy, you do hear individuals who belittle the minority woman to the smallest degree possible. Uh, you do hear individuals promote <coughs> death, teach other youngsters how to search and find death and how to be the best hunters and savages possible. And you do hear individuals how to sh proudly mismanage their money, you know, because most rappers end up dead and broke, dead or broke. You feel me? So these entities where, you know, like go to your job today and act a fool, your boss or whoever is in charge is going to not send your ass home, terminate you, reprimand you in some capacity. But in these record labels, they are promoting the worst of the worst from these artists whom they have life insurance policies on 
So if you do uh, find death from antagonizing others, they gonna profit from you, from your music, for uh, for 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 eons, for ages, as long as they control your name throughout the universe in the contract. You should read some of these contracts. You know, we live here on Earth, but they say they control the rights to your name throughout the universe. Okay, so not only do they promote the worst of the worst of the demonic type music, even if the music is good, it's promoting death. It's promoting things that cause hurt within our communities. Do you feel the need to walk up to your mom and call her a bitch? Your sister, call her a bitch? Do you feel the need to, for your children to take your children and teach them how to be gangsters, how to be hoes, how to be pimps, how to be this, how to be that? Do, do, do you look forward to teaching your children this? And you know the answer to these questions. And if you know the answer to these questions are no, then you know to promote these things. No matter if the music or the movies are good, it's wrong. So you have to ask yourself, like Dane Calloway said, Dane Calloway said the quality of your life is based upon the quality of the questions you ask. So I personally want to know why. Why is it okay to promote this music? Why is it okay to promote this way of life? Why is it okay... To, to give the, the, the false narrative that it's okay to sell as much dope as possible and do this all, all this illegal ass shit that you know will, will, even if you, and that's the scary part too, a lot of motherfucking youngsters don't know at the time. They are not mentally aware that their actions will resort to them finding the penitentiary or the graveyard. So that's where you are misleading it, it, it is mass genocide on a, on a passive aggressive level at its finest. So when you ask the question, why is this allowed in these entertainment industries? And then you find out <laughs> that the same groups control the prison industries. that are full of minority faces on a on a on a on just a on a on a hurtful level statistic wise it all makes sense when you learn that these same powerful groups they own parent 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 plan, uh parent plan, uh what parent plan parenthood mm -hmm. yeah that's my baby right there she listen that's that's high deal motherfucking bribe then. <laughs> but when you find out that these same groups own places like Planned Parenthood, it becomes hurtful. It becomes not only clear to what's going on, motives, all this, but it becomes hurtful. Now, with me, it's different. It becomes hurtful to the point where I, I like, it don't make me want to search for shelter or somewhere like oh my god what are we gonna do they really trying to kill us no it makes me being aborigine you know what i'm saying it's a lot of us even though civilization started in africa when when we were spread out we were spread out everywhere and a lot of our tribe the aborigine and native americans we were already here in america before christopher columbus ever came and i am of that motherfucking energy that f I'm a I'm an Indian I fight I'm gonna fight till the day I die so my way of fighting today in today's world you know I got babies do do I want to see uh any form of real revelation uh revelation uh not, uh uh you know a war jump off where I have to witness people dying no but I do want to teach my children how to fight Using their mind, man. The, using your pen, your pad. Using or being or getting organized. Uh, b making people aware to what's going on. So as as I put this video up, I just made it known 
to every little rapper, every little artist, everybody that's seeking, have ambition to be something better in life. What the goal is, their goal is to search for the worst of the worst of us and allow us to tell our stories in a way where we paint a narrative that we are demonic people and we need to continue to do these demonic things in order to have some form of economic success. That is a lie. It becomes a, your responsibility at this point, man, to change, to do something different, to, to, to make others aware. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you are an artist and you gifted to be a voice for people, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling your ass right now that your voice is being used to paint a false narrative of your people. So I ain't saying you got to be all this uh, or, or, you know, become this God uh, praising type of rapper or none of this or change it. No. But I am saying like, man, you 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 being used, you, you know, we all take pride in being this real nigga, this uh, uh, or this, a man's man. I'm a boss. All this. Other. Well, I just told you that you're being used by a, a whole motherfucking plan a people of a, a whole a system. You know, the system that we live in, the American system, people always say it's broken. It ain't broken. It's doing exactly what it was created to do. And a lot of y'all are pawns in the game. And I no longer want to be a pawn. If I'm going to be a real king, I must teach, make aware, let it be known. K Kanye, he appears to be crazy. You know what happens to someone who is constantly trying to um, be heard? And they being snuffed out, they become irate. irate. They get uh, 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 itchy a little bit. They become, uh, you know, a person that others say, "Oh my God, look at him! He tripping!" And he really not. He just trying. He want to be. He he want to be heard. Now, everybody good at pointing out everybody fault. Well, Kanye did. Kanye, or you did. I, man, where your demons with Kanye's? You know, until the day each motherfucker willing to get on these motherfucking airwaves, the social media, and start talking about your embarrassing shit, you foul for always pointing out somebody else's, or it's your intention, and which makes you a fucking hater, clown. So that's something I felt I I wanted to share this morning as I came to see my baby sis, and, and you know, uh, well, came to get God's energy from my baby sis. Cause she woke up with this on her heart. You know what I'm saying? So I felt the need to share it, man, because it's spooky when you really think about it. The same groups that own the prison system are are, are ownership partner groups with the same people that own the music industries and, and the and the uh entertainment industries and then the news industries, which the news if you watch the news, all they when they report, they report all the negative that happened in the minority communities. All these are controlled by Jewish ownership groups, and I, you know, like I love everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like so, like when does it become like why why would I have to be considered anti-Semitic or racist? When I'm just searching for the truth. I just want the truth. You know what I'm saying? When does setting something straight separate from becoming uh, offensive? Because if if people going to get offended by everything that black people got something to say about or, or searching for from reparations to the slave ships that was owned by the Jews that got uh, the slaves from Africa over here and... Uh, uh, and took some of the uh, the Indians from America back over to Africa. They had they had Jewish emblems on them. This is factual history. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know. So when does telling the truth become just the truth and not anti-Semitic? You know what I'm saying? And like I told my sister, the word anti-Semitic itself, it's not like a definition that came from Webster. <laughs> This is a, a word basically made up by them that is telling you it's, it's, it's anti-Semitic to consider anybody that, that a Jewish people control or run the world. 
Well, we gonna start doing this motherfucker ass like Kanye say. Don't the quality of your life is based upon the quality of the questions you ask. So don't uh say a, don't con, con, uh don't attack a group of people. Just start looking for the individuals and the names, searching, googling who own this, who own that, who own this company. And when the names come back and the groups that come back, and if it's a group that come back, you can search the group names. All right, well, who are members of this group? Who sits on this board? Stuff like that. And when you find out the identities, the 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 the, uh, uh, the nationalities of these people, their religious beliefs, it does not make you anti-Semitic or racist to report the truth that you find. Together, everyone cheese more. I'm out. My sister in there cooking some motherfucking smell like sauce eggs. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna get in this shit. Love y'all. Expressing this, getting this off my chest made me feel better. So I love y'all. Sister, you got anything to say? No. No, she just be sucking it up. <laughs> we out.